Martial Arts Family, Mr. Jones back again with Mr. Brunning, recording your class 12 video. Warm up time, students clear out your space. Let's bow down and start. Two deep position, tension and bow. Okay guys, for the warm up today, let's start with some jogging in place. 10 seconds, ready to go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay guys, we're gonna jog in place again. This time we're gonna add some punches. We're gonna punch and jog, ready? Begin, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay guys, let's move on to some push-ups. Let's take it down. All right, I'm gonna do 10 regular push-ups. Mr. Brody's gonna do a variation of knuckle push-ups. So um, if you have a hard time with push-ups, definitely do regular, but if you're good at push-ups and you're feeling gnarly, do some knuckle push-ups. 10 of them, guys, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Awesome, guys, let's do one more. We're gonna do some scissor kicks. So let's go down onto our back. Scissor kicks, we're gonna put our hands to our sides or underneath our hips. One foot low, other foot a little higher, and when we switch them, let's go for 30 seconds. Keep those legs straight, students. Core tight. Try to keep your head up off the floor also. Keep switching, keep both feet up. Keep it going, students. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, stretching time. Let's go ahead and go to a center split. Good old regular center split. Nice and easy. I like to start by going as low as I can without putting my hands down. And then when I start to lose my balance a little bit, I'll go ahead and put them down and let my feet slide out farther. Splitting to the side, turning, one knee down, other leg straight, toes pointing up, one hand on each side, head towards the knee. Should feel the stretch on the hamstring on your straight leg. Okay, turn, other side. Middle, one more time. Students, just try to push it out a little bit farther. Hold it, three, two, one. Okay, guys, awesome, awesome. Students, go ahead, pause the video to do additional warm-up or stretching time if needed. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, we're back for a punching drill. Now, this one is going to involve some lead switching. We're gonna take it slow, build up the speed. It's a lot of fun. A little bit more advanced once we get going on it, but have some fun with it, students, okay? Uh, so, remember, if we go to our fighting stand, students, Whichever foot is in front, that is our lead, all right? So if we're gonna do a jab right now, that would be with this side. If we were to switch our lead, our jab would be with this side. Cool, with me? Make sure you keep that in mind, guys, because we're gonna swap leads every time, which again, makes it a little bit confusing. Students, if you need to pause the video at any time, feel free to pause it to practice a little bit more. Okay, so from our fighting stance, first one is gonna be a jab, jab, cross. Okay, let's do that again. Same side in front, ready? Jab, jab, cross. Now we're gonna swap feet. We're gonna do the same combination, but now it's going to be jab, jab, cross. Everything's opposite. Again, jab, jab, cross. Switch feet again. Okay, students with me so far? Next one is jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, and this is gonna be a lead hook with the lead hand. Let's do that again, ready? Go jab, cross, Hook. Let's swap sides. Now it's opposite on the other side. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook. One more time. Jab, cross, hook. Switch again. And all these combination students alternate sides. So it's always, you know, alternating sides. We're not punching with the same hand twice in a row. Okay. Last one is hook, cross, hook. And that's going to be a lead hook. So hook, cross, hook. One more time. Let's go back to that side. Ready to go. Hook. Cross, hook. All right, now we'll switch. Other side, everything's opposite, lead hook. Cross, hook. One more time. Hook, cross, 
Boom, okay, switch back. Now, Missy Bernie and I are gonna speed it up a little bit and we're gonna demonstrate what it looks like switching the leads each time. So we're gonna do the combination one time with, with uh, this foot in front and then we're gonna switch to it one time with this foot in front. Then we're gonna switch back and we're gonna cruise through that whole list, okay? Students, if you need to pause this after we do it, feel free to pause it and watch it again. All right, here we go. So let's go like a medium speed. So you're ready? Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross, switch. Jab, jab, cross, switch again. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook, switch. Jab, cross, hook, switch. Hook, cross, hook, guys, ready to go. Hook, cross, hook, switch. Hook, cross, hook. Okay, guys, we're gonna try to kick it up a notch. So let's try to go a little bit faster, see if we can do it. Students, try to keep up with us if you can. If not, that's okay too. Here we go, ready? Jab, jab, cross, ready to go. Jab, jab, cross, switch. Jab, jab, Cross, switch, jab, cross, hook, go. Jab, cross, hook, switch, jab, cross, hook, switch, hook, cross, hook, go. Hook, cross, hook, switch, hook, cross, hook. There it is, guys. There it is, your punching drill for today. Uh, parents, after they do it facing the screen a few times, if you want to grab your target shield for them to punch, you can. Um, uh, and you can have some fun with it that way as well. So that is your punching drill. Uh, please, guys, rewind the video. You know, jump back if you need to watch it again. It can get a little bit confusing switching, switching the sides, but check it out and have some fun with it. Okay, students, we are back. Switch kicks. Let's slide back a little bit, Mr. Brian. We are in our fighting stance. Okay, guys, so for switch kicks, all we're gonna do is swap our feet and kick with the back leg. It's pretty straightforward. Let's try uh, just a switch front kick. So we're ready, so we're gonna switch and we snap out in front. Okay, let's do that one more time. Ready, and switch fronts. Okay, now parents, this is a little bit more advanced, um, so if they're a beginner level student, it's gonna take a little bit of practice. Advanced students, this is an awesome sparring kick, so really try to pick that speed up, okay? Now we can do this with any kick. Let's switch legs, turn them on the other side. Let's do a switch side kick with this one. Ready, go. Okay, now we're going pretty fast, students. If you need to slow it down a little bit, that's fine. Let's do a switch roundhouse. Ready, go. All right, and parents, you can even do a switch back kick. Let's try it. Ready, go. All right, good job, guys. So um, have some fun with the switch kicks. Parents, if you have a more advanced student, what I would suggest is you have them go to their fighting stance, and parents, you call the kick. So you say, ready, switch side kick. Ready, switch roundhouse. Switch axe kick. Switch crescent kick. And have some fun with it. Be sure we're swapping those feet nice and fast to get that kick in. And remember, parents, they should be kicking with their back leg after they switch. So make sure they're only doing one switch, so we, won't, we don't want to do more than one switch. That's no good. We want to do one switch, kick with the back leg. So whatever foot started in front, that should be the leg that does the kick if you did it correctly. All right, switch and kick. So there's your switch kicks, guys. Have some fun with those. Pause the video and practice some switch kicks. All right, next we're going to work on some bow moves. You're going to grab your bow, make sure you have a lot of room around you, and we're going to combo some motions we did last class where you're going to combo together some neck spins. So we worked on the fake, the half, and the full neck spin, we're gonna combo those together today. So we're gonna start in that half neck spin position, grabbing it just like this. Practice the half neck spin just a couple times. Make sure you remember it just like this. One, grab. Right there, that's the half neck spin. Once you've got that down, we're going to try and combo the motions together. We've got to have one motion in between. So we just did our half neck spin right here. We're going to pause it right here. We're not going to go all the way down. Pause it right here. Put the other arm out and almost like you're doing a palm strike. Curve that hand up. You're going to let the bow slide down your arm and it's going to hit your hand just like this. Try it one more time. Here, slides down your arm right here, we're stopping it from going past. One last time here, down, and now we're going to use this hand, since we've tracked the bow, we're going to lift it behind our neck into either the half or the full, or the fake or the whole uh, neck spin position. So we just did our half here, slide it down our arm, lift it behind our neck, and now from here we can either do the half or the fake, or the full neck spin. I'm gonna break it down a little bit slower. So from the starting position, one, bring it behind our neck, the half neck spin, grab it before it spins all the way around your neck. Make sure you 
let one side of the bow pass before you grab it. Or you can do the full if you're really good at this. Make sure you practice it a lot. You have a lot of room so you're not going to hit anything. The full neck spin, we let it spin up all the way around your neck. We grab it on this side. Spin, grab. One last time, the entire combination. Half, let it slide down our arm. Stop it there, lift it behind our neck. Either fake or full neck spin. Practice that a little bit. Make sure you've got it down and then you can move on. Okay, students, that concludes our classroom day. Awesome job. Be sure to go back and rewatch any part of the video if needed. Let's go ahead and go to chumbi position. Do a tension and bounce and finish. Awesome job today, students, and we will see you on your next class. Thank you for watching.